the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 22, Exodus 11 to 13, Passover and Communion. Through the last plague of death of the firstborn, the people of Israel cut off the chain of long slavery and took the step towards freedom and exodus. First point, Genesis 12 records Abraham's obedience and the start of his family's life of faith. And Exodus 12 records the Hebrew nation's obedience and thus the start of their life of faith. Abraham believed in God's promise of descendants and land. He traveled to the promised land, and this marked the beginning of his family's life of faith in the land of Canaan. 400 years later, Abraham's descendants obeyed the word of God by spreading the blood of a one-year-old ram on their doorposts to keep the Passover. The night of the Passover was the night that the Hebrew nation began their life of faith as a community. Second point, Passover night. The Egyptian empire's foundation is crossed and a kingdom of priests foundation is established. Passover night, five things happened that night. The first was Pharaoh's proclamation that he would no longer negotiate with Moses and Aaron. The second was Moses' final warning that all the Egyptian firstborns and the firstborn livestock would be killed, but the Hebrews would not die. The third was Moses' instructions to the Hebrew nation to kill over 22,000 one-year-old lambs without defect and spread the blood on their front doors. The fourth was the actual death of the Egyptian firstborns and their livestock. The fifth was the Hebrew nation being able to receive silver and gold from the Egyptians. As such, the foundation of the Egyptian empire was crushed that night and the foundation of a kingdom of priests was established. Third point, commemorate the Passover. The Passover could be seen as the biggest miracle recorded in the Old Testament up to that point. The Passover was commemorated for the next 1,500 years. God gave four reasons as to why the Passover was to be commemorated. It marked the start of a new beginning for Abraham's descendants who had been slaves. It marked God's salvation. It marked the day God counted as the beginning of the Israel nation. It marked God becoming the God of Exodus and also God's making the Israel nation his. Fourth point, the Passover, which occurred in Egypt, continued for 1,500 years and then ended with the first communion. The night before crucifixion, Jesus sat with his disciples and practiced the final Passover, which had continued for 1,000 years. 500 years. He took bread and wine and started the first ever communion. The only person who could change the 1,500 years tradition was God's only son, Jesus Christ. Communion symbolizes the death of Jesus as well as how he died for our sins. With the end of Passover and the start of communion, there are four major changes. One, the Passover lamb which saved the people's sins was changed to the Lamb of God. Two, the night before Exodus became the night before Jesus was crucified.
crucified. 3. Passover, which occurred in each family's home, was changed to the place selected by Jesus with his disciples. 4. The bread and wine came to symbolize Jesus' blood and body. Fifth point. The blessing in the Bible contains all people's mission. God delivered the Hebrew nation, which was his blessing, and in return, the Hebrew nation was to live with a mission. Each Hebrew firstborn who was saved by God now belonged to him. Later on, we see how God took the descendants of Levi instead of the firstborn of the twelve tribes of Israel and made them into his possession. They were to become priests in a kingdom of priests. For this, the first ones of the twelve tribes of Israel had to offer a sum of their wealth to the tribe of Levi, so that they could implement a kingdom of priests for all nations. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondok app. The Tondok app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondok app.